Hi everyone, it's Anna, and today I want to talk to you about how you can edit your JPEG images in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, I know that a lot of you out there are shooting JPEG, and what you can do is you can actually open your JPEG image in Camera Raw. It doesn't have to be a digital negative or a raw file. So, what you'll need to do is open Adobe Bridge, and navigate to the spot where you have saved your JPEG image. And in this case, mine is on my desktop. So you're going to click it and then you're going to right click on it and select open in camera raw. And at this point, camera raw is going to come up here on my screen and it says JPEG right down here. And keep in mind that this is, this is not, um, converting your JPEG image to a raw file. It's still going to be a JPEG and you're still going to have the same limitations that you would with any JPEG file. You won't be able to make as fine-tuned or detailed adjustments as you would with a raw file, but for whatever reason, if you're shooting in JPEG, you can open it in Camera Raw. So, here I am in Camera Raw, and I now have access to my graduated filters, my radial filter, all of the really um, handy and useful adjustments that you can find in Camera Raw that aren't necessarily in regular Photoshop. So you have like your sharpening and your noise reduction. And I'm linking here to a more detailed video tutorial if you're not familiar with Camera Raw and some of its advantages. Definitely um, watch that tutorial. I'll also link to it in the description of the video here so that you can get caught up there um, if you are shooting in JPEG. And like always, we do encourage you to shoot in RAW just because you will have um, more editing capabilities that way, especially when it comes to adjusting exposure and color. But if you do shoot in JPEG for any reason, but you still want to um, have some of the benefits of Camera Raw, you can do so, just like I showed you here. So again, just to recap what I did, I opened my Adobe Bridge, I navigated to my JPEG image on my computer, I right-clicked on it and selected Open in Camera Raw. And Camera Raw comes up here, and when I'm finished editing, I can either um, save my image or if I wanted to continue editing the image in Photoshop, I would just click Open Image.